Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. Oh, I've not seen one of these in a while. It's been a while, mate. It's been a while. I, I wasn't into the whole Gala Dark scenery, you know, that kind of onboard ship thing. I think we might have reviewed one of them early on. Yeah, it's a whole new set of terrain. And it was to like, play. this is a scenery set that I'm not interested in developing. Yeah. And it would have taken us ages to do. Absolutely, absolutely. So we kind of had a bit of a pause. Still very interested in Kill Team. Still love me a skirmish game. And love the 40k IP. So now this is a bit different to the others. Why is that? Salvation Skirmish Combat in the 41st. What's the difference? This was from the third party. We got this from uh, Element Games, I think, or Goblin Games, one of those guys. Okay, yeah. So it was about 15% off. They're a lot cheaper. Than the previous sets. Squiddlies. Whereas they were in the like 120 category, I think. That's a big difference. Because they're taking the scenery out. Mm. But. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I didn't buy the Gallo Dark stuff because I didn't want the scenery. Mm. And that's the first time I've looked at a Kill Team set and thought, I don't want the scenery. But other Too people much. are probably having that experience. I was interested in building a range of 40k scenery sets for sci fi games. Yeah. But other people probably felt the same way about the other scenery sets that I did about Galadark. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yep, definitely. I'm going to talk you through the contents. This box contains mm. uh, Kill Team Salvation Book, transfer sheets for both a Scout Squad and the Blades of Cain, which are the new Aspect Warriors, sort of. Uh, complete set of data cards, fun times, tokens, sheets, token reference cards, tack up ability, ploy, and equipment cards. Mm. And yeah, you get 20 minis in and here, a tiny bit which is scenery. good for 60 quid from Games Workshop. 68, 68 quid. quid. So the retail's probably near 80, maybe 85, if that's if they're selling it for 68 yeah. with a discount. But it's not the way past 100, which we were in that territory before. There was also huge availability issues with this. What, this this is... hasn't just come out. I wanted it. I think it came out around Christmas and, I, and it sold out. Oh. And and when I got this, it was like limited to one because we often get two boxes, don't we? We'll like we'll have one each to look at. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You've forgotten that we then we normally do that. Yeah. We do that. It's been a while. It's been a while. Depends how much stuff there is in. We often have one each, but you could literally only buy one box. Games Workshop seems to be having issues with their distribution and manufacturing at the moment. Yeah, because of problems with Legions Imperialis and problems with lots of things, kind of selling out, which is odd for a company of that size. And, and their and factories on their doorstep as well, so. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Who knows? That's another yes. story. Anyways, you get a whole bunch of plastic. You do. Let's bring it out. There's I mean, that's... It, aspect it, it, Warriors. You know, when you spend that amount of money, you do want to be confronted. And it was heavy, this It's quite box. compact. Yeah. You know, it's not loose. It was heavy. Get your scouts. Scouts. Terrain's under there as well. That is dinged up. But that's good. That's what it's for. Because that's what it's for. And then put, not put a picture on it, it's just an advert for Warhammer. Because mm, right. it's not Games Workshop no more, John. No, it's Warhammer. It's just Warhammer. It's the Warhammers. Bases, big bases, 32s. Mm. All your cards. Big cards? Are they bigger? It's been a while since I've actually They're touched. bigger than regular playing cards. They're more like tarot card size. Yeah, but are they bigger than the other Kill, Kill Team, Team cards? cards? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, they look to be one perfection. Oh. You pack of paper. Oh, you love a decal sheet. I do love a decal There's sheet. Four decal sheets in here. What? Okay. Space Marine Infantry Transfer Sheet. That looks like the one that came You've in the seen new that before. Set. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's got a range of colours on. It does. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, still, plenty of options. And then. Elder. Randomly, you get Raven Guard Primaris times two. I because think it's presumably the art, the art on the front and the, 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 the way box. they've painted it. Yes, they've painted them as Raven Guard. That's different. And they're nice big images as well. Are they not on here, the Raven Guard? They don't no, they today. are not. That's like a default one with a few um, first founding chapters on it. Yeah. Raptors, though. What the hell? Anyways, loads of decals. Happy days. Is the Eldar decal sheet new? Looks very colourful. Eldar decal sheet. It's new to us. I'm. I have no idea You've if no it's idea. new or not. So it just says Eldari Craft Worlds 2022. I'd say that's new. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's cool. You, you get very you pro get the big ones. I'm not pro at this. You get a light up build town. 
Hey, and then Simon Hyun, all the way. Jolly good. All the, all the options. Ones. Go over there. Mm. Oh, baggy, mate. Do you want to treat yourself? Because I always to fail. open the baggy. So this is. So this is the book, and all this the other is uh, what we've got in here. We've got a book. We've got a destruction sheet. Mm. Unique tokens and unit cards. I do love that smell. But that, that plasticated paper. Mm. Unit cards are nice. The card stock is it's not thick, but you don't want that for a unit card. What you do want that for... Tokens. Is tokens. And these are personalised tokens. Are they one for each faction? Yeah. Seems to be. Oh, yeah, yeah literally. And these look these, the white and black. These are very Raven Guard. And these are very striking <laughs> scorpions. <laughs> yeah. Because they're green. So, but is it a full set of tokens? I don't think it is. These are for special abilities and stuff, I think. So these mm. will run alongside, because I'm not seeing the concealed versus whatever the term is. Mate, it's been a while. It's been you a know, while. You know, yeah. you have to place it like whether you're hiding and creeping around or whether, because you, you can't shoot if you're in that mode in Kill Team. You That's have to choose. Right. No, these are definitely abilities. And these, whereas they these are be. like, yeah, these are like grenades and things. So these are abilities and unique objective tokens. Interestingly, it's got different aspects on here. Really? Yeah. Oh, Striking you Striking Scorpions, Dire Avengers, and... Um, Another one. Howling Banshees. Probably Howling too. Banshees. Are they the new plastic They are hits? the newer ones. They're the newer ones. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that's those. That's a really nice inclusion. Especially if you need them to use their special abilities. These are tokens you don't get in the core set. It's a helpful reminder. Yeah. Okay. Having the tokens. Salvation! Do you want to have a look at the destruction book? Now, what I'm wondering is, is this... The core rules. No, it is not. So you're still going to need... So this isn't a starter set, this is an expansion set. Because sometimes they will reprint the core rules, won't mm -hmm. they? Now it may be that Kill Team's rules are available to download for free. I don't know. I don't know, because we haven't played it for such a long time. It has time. been some time. Yeah. I can't imagine anything's free then. No. But we think that there were 10 models in there. Now, the actual team, you get nine guys. You get a scout sergeant and an and eight scout squad. Eight scout squad operatives selected from the following list. Heavy gunner with heavy bolter, heavy gunner with missile launcher, hunter, sniper, tracker, and warrior with shotgun, bolt gun, or bolt pistol and blade. Sweet. So the, the classic scout weapons. Yes. But new models. New bigger models. They are much bigger. Oh my. Quite a few options. I love the uh, Games Workshop destructions with all the colours. Yeah. The colour coded bits and bobs. Makes life easy. Right. So, scouts. Sp is it two identical sets of sprues? Yep, they line up perfectly. That is a big sprue. That is a big sprue. Um, one assumes that there are five guys on each of these um, because there are nine guys that make up the team. Mm -hmm. So you do have a spare model to mess around with to give yourself some options. One, two, three, four. There's, yeah, I can there's see five, five backs. backs on the top there. There's yeah. five backs. Six fronts, though, interestingly. Yeah. Seven fronts. Well, because Six the fronts. sergeant is presumably quite different because somebody... Oh, the... Cloak will be for the sniper dude. Mm -hmm. Is that is that right? Is it ca is it camo cloak is only available to the ones with sniper rifles? I'm seeing it's it. It's certainly done yet. Yeah. That's that's how they yep. told you to build it. Scout sniper. Scout sniper has got the camo cloak rule. Yeah, and the hunter's got the gra the grapnel launcher rule. So you do need to be mindful of. It's not any 10 scouts. No, these are quite special. And they can't all take yep. the different options. No. Yep. What do you think? Because these are like massive primary sized right. scouts. So we, I, I'll be brutally honest with you, John. I'm confused. Mm -hmm. Because with Primaris, we had the light, medium and heavy armour. The Mark 10 armor comes in light, medium, and heavy, right? There's the Gravis and there's the Phobos. 
It's the light and yes. the heavy versions. Yep. And this isn't for this is lighter than four boss armor by the looks of things. Yeah, Although quite similar. Scout armor, but missing a lot of the leg panels. Yeah. And arm panels. It's missing some of the panels. So I why really is felt scouts? that like you had you've got reavers and you've got infiltrators, but they're not scouts then. I no. didn't think the Space Marine line needed more granularity than it had had. Well, no, I think they've just the scouts are literally unfinished Space Marines yeah. normally. So maybe that's the point. Whereas the infiltrators and all of the Phobos ones are fully fledged Marines. I mean, I it doesn't matter. In like, you can justify it in the story. In, in fluff only. And in, terms of, in terms of the roster, in terms of the in range roster, of functionality. It's just another thing. I, 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 I don't... Um, I don't enjoy the degree of granularity in Space Marines uh -uh. that they're trying to offer, I suppose is what I'm saying. Particularly when I'm seeing like the Reaver Grapnel launcher on here. Yeah, same weapons. Same weapon. Now, sculpts wise, we've obviously we've only just opened this box, so I said we've got like a starty shotgun. We've got the things that we would expect to see on here, but the sniper rifle is a bit troubling. Because? Because this seems to be following the pattern of a lot of their newer units, which is you have to build the unit as it comes off the sprue in this multi in this multi-part th monopose. Multi-part monopose. Like there's three ways of building the figure. Did you take the plasma gun, the melter gun, or the flamer? Yeah. Right? But this body is taking one of those three weapons, that kind of thing. Mm. There's only one sniper rifle and one camo clock. So in terms of now they've been, in previous editions, they've been phasing out a lot of the old space, the tactical marines and so forth. And we're very nearly at a point where basically everything you had before is available primarily. Truth. Accepted. But a full set of scouts with camo cloaks and sniper rifles, as little as three, four years ago, was 15 quid. Yeah. If you want five scouts with sniper rifles, you're going to need to buy... 30 scouts. We're going to need to get three. For now. You think there's going to be another For now. scout kit? I mean, it would be madness if they did, right? But, yeah, they most probably would. Mm -hmm. It's another box. It's another box. And look, these are got, like the Reavers, they've got combat knives. They've got everything that the Reavers have got. Combat knives. Just about. That's a massive knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. machetes. They, yeah, they, it's exactly It's the same. like, what are the Reavers for? And, they, and they've had that situation since they arrived. Because that whole kind of terror troop thing, they're just not that good at it. They're not good enough at fighting <laughs> they're terrible to be troops. actually that shocking yeah. as a unit. Well, there you go. That's why they um, are shocking. Because yeah. they're not good. Although um, they do make good uh, alternate. If you want to kitbash a chaplain, a Reaver mm, helmet is not a bad way to go. I do love their skull faces. Yeah. So yeah, this is, I don't, yeah, okay, I kind of get what you're on about, but it's cool, you get new scouts, right? So if you, you love You get scout, new scouts, because these scouts are not tiny next to your infiltrators and your, you know, your old scouts. But I had like a full scout force with the transport, like 35, 40 guys, you know, I could play a game with scouts. Nah, mate, throw them in the bin. So do I have to start again? Yeah, yeah, throw them in the bin. Throw them in the bin, yeah, absolutely. Take them for the kids at school. We've got some little extra bits on here, look, we've got little bits of... Little bits of folded stowage and things, different belt pouches, pistol holsters, and sort of velcroed on grenades, which Space Marines do like a grenade with a velcro attachment to put somewhere on the arm or something. One so you, thing I'm noticing on this also yeah. is that the shoulder pants are actually separate in this instance. In all of the other scouts before, they've been moulded on. Yes, which limits how you compose them and kit bash them. Yeah. I mean, not that you can really... Wait, I'm sure a professional model maker because would be able to do with it. Because with a Space Marine, you can hide what's... You can hide the, all You can the have a horrid mess under a shoulder pad of how you've attached an arm to make it work with the pose you're trying to get. Mm -hmm. it, it, um, it is a wonderful thing for hiding a mess is a detachable shoulder pad. Well, we've got them this time round, so... We've got them this time round. That round. makes me happy. That makes them a bit more flexible. Yeah. But when they've gone with this, also with this um, multi-part monopost approach, mm. the other thing to think about is it's bad for um, Space Marine chapters that have particularly flavoursome 
subunits of this type. So like this is going to be difficult to make if you're a space wolf because your wolf scouts want lots of wolfy bits on them. I see what you mean. Yeah. And and these models they're going to be harder they're, to they're attach quite them to. Vanilla. They're very vanilla because they did as an entirely different ones for what are the Sword Brothers people called? The other black and black white Templars. black Templars. They have their own version of this. And the only scouts you could get for a while. So good shout. And then they were like, they were this size as well, right? The, yeah. So yeah, their if... new kit. Yeah. And this for them, this is great because they can add some of those. They can mix and match those mm. with some normal infiltrators, some normal scouts, then the bespoke ones. For them, it's adding a lot of variety. But you don't want your wolf scouts all looking really quite vanilla. Which is which is a danger with that, but you know, space wolves—they haven't had anything space from the from the Primaris line yet, they suck. except a, a tassel or something. You love it. That was the Space Marines, the Space Marine Scouts. They're all right, but what some people have been waiting quite a long time for, like thirty years, like oh. thirty years, <laughs> is we got new aspects, plastic aspect warriors. More to the point, striking scorpions. So in two minutes, John. For somebody who doesn't follow Eldar, what's an Aspect Warrior? What's, what, what's Aspect that? Warriors? Yeah. Oh my god, you're actually testing my knowledge here. Um, Aspect Warriors are like very precise art of war that the Eldar focus on. Mm -hmm. And they're all different aspects, obviously. So Strike and Scorpions like, like ninja are discipline. Exactly that. Dire yeah. Avengers, they do their thing. Yeah. Strike and Scorpions, these are very much an assault unit. Um, mm. Normally kitted out with the same stuff. These guys have got a special ability called Mandy Blasters, which are these little mandible things that they right, shoot okay. at your head. So I'm hoping there's rules for that in there. But anyway, oh, there's rules for that in here, yeah. Plastic ones. Oh plastic my! Plastic ones. So these, these in some cases with some aspect warriors, they're like thirty year old sculpts. You can't remember with the striking scorpions. Striking scorpions have had a couple of iterations, but all have of they? them started out as Jez Goodwins back in like um, you know ninety, not even before then. I think they came out during the end of uh, what we, what I call Rogue Trader, which is just 40k first edition. Right. Um, the Scorpions have had another iteration, but this it's been a long time. That was like 2000s, early. Nice. Have a look in the book, John. You'll be pleased to know Mandy Blasters is a rule the Striking Scorpion Warrior I mean, it's been has. A key thing. I, I Each know. time this operative performs a fight action, the end... At the end of the select valid target step of combat, the target suffers two mortal wounds. Just by being in combat, this guy gives you two mortal wounds. Beep, 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 beep. Take it. I don't know that, if that's a big deal. That's not nothing. How Three, many wounds, how like many wounds does the model have? It's been that, I mean, eight. But well, one of these eight, guys eight has eight got wounds. eight. Beep, beep. <laughs> two mortal wounds for being in combat. That's not bad, is it? I don't know if you'd have to hit or anything, no. And it's not a stratagem, it's just an ability. Mm, That's just an ability. Just ability. Each time it performs a fight action, after it selects a target, the target suffers two more wounds. I mean, winners. That's grim. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take these. Not like that. Elba always cheat. They are the cheaters of the galaxy. So it looks like you've got four sort of component sprues here. Uh, I thought... So you've got your core one, which has got all this the bodies is, this is and bits a and bobs on. And yeah, I've got one of those as well. And then there's two of these. No, no, but is, these, are, these are the same. Yes, they are the same, yeah. So that's your core, that's your bodies, torsos, legs, everything like that. And then you seem to get an Exarch sort of uh, slash sergeant sprue. Right. In addition. So you were thinking this builds you four guys and that builds you... No, I think that's all your five guys, but if you want to make them They're with so the additional... Skinny. They are skinny. They all are. Yeah. Uh, this has got all the weapons options, like the Crab Claw. Uh, different helmets. Lots of different components to make an Exarch. Or mix up the squad, most probably. Yeah. So in the game, uh, yeah, the basic... Uh, Striking Scorpion Warrior has got a Shuriken Pistol and a Chainsaw, and that's it. Yep. Um, and Shuriken Pistol is range Pentagon, which is six inches, I think. And he's got the Mind Blasters rule. So it's a, it's actually quite a simple model to use in Kill Team. Mm. Very uncomplicated. Whereas the Exarch has got all the options. It's Shuriken yeah. Pistol, two Shuriken Pistols, Biting Blade, Twin Chainsaws, or Scorpion Storm Chainsaw. It's literally right in front of me. The model, I just, that is, yeah. 
That's <laughs> those are, and those are all options. That's all in there on the kit. Three builds. Yeah. Um, so the biting blade is that the two hander or something? It doesn't say, but yes, I believe so. Yeah. You've got the two chainsaws, and then the other one's got the claw. So yeah, two hander, right. biting blade, Bosch. Right, interesting. And the only extra rule the Exarch has is he still has the Mandy Blasters, but he also can perform two shoot or fight actions during its activation. Um, and it has... Ooh! These guys have three APL. Oh, yeah. These guys are strong. APL is the number of actions Action you pass, have. Yeah. And they also have a three rather than a two circle so they're fast and they have multiple actions to chop you up with yeah seems so Plus manly blasters so every time they fight they're doing two mortal wounds you can kill things with these guys and that guy can fight twice I mean... <laughs> so he does four mortal wounds just by getting existing here. yeah yeah oh my. so they're pretty strong i mean you know we're not going to get into the weeds of the rules because no it's been so long since it's we've been so long since it. we played it and every time we play it, we have to stop and reread and practice the game again before we get on camera. Now, the interesting thing about this... I did say, didn't I, with the tokens? With the tokens. is right. The models that are in here are Striking Scorpions, and they're brand new. Games Workshop have often done this in the past few years. If there's a new single squad release for a faction, mm -hmm. they come out first in a kill team set. Or yes. sometimes in like a two-player versus box. But generally, where there's something new on each side, yeah, generally when yeah. that happens, but not it, mostly it's been with kill team. But the rules that they're providing in here are a bit more flexible because you're allowed to use the other plastic, the new plastic aspect warriors. aspect warriors. Because when you take your kill team, you can choose to have either a dire avenger, howling banshee, or striking scorpion exarch. Sweet. So one of we any of those three up. Exarchs um, aspects. And then when you come to picking your squad, you get to choose seven guys of either Dire Avengers, Howling Banshees, or Striking Scorpions. So you can have a bit more of a kill team in the style of the previous edition of Kill Team, where you could take bits mix from and match. You I, could mix from across I the faction. Like that. And I think people are... Now, I can kind of understand that it's hard to balance that when you have much more wacky abilities. And one of the ways they balance the value, the models and the kill teams against one another is knowing, well, if this one isn't doing very well, we can stick another guy in that squad. Because yeah. it's not points per model, it's models in the kill team. Yeah, this time around, yeah, for hmm. sure. The cards then, what do you think of the cards? Because I don't think we had them before. I don't remember having cards. No. Like well, I just, we definitely I just, have to look stuff up. I just wanted to check because you've got the Howling Banshee and Dire Avenger cards in here. For the troop and the extra. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's Which is there. nice. Yeah. I, Why have we had these before? No. But they did release this they did do this with Tenth though, didn't they? There were there were unit cards. Mm. And there were unit card packs. And it's maybe a, a route they're going down as a business. I like it. Because it's the red like reference it. straight off the bat. Yeah. It's, it's there. That's the whole point, right? It's a reference yeah. card. And you've usually only got two or three unit types, but they're sometimes across several pages. And you're often sharing the book. Mm. Yep. You know, as like, I'm either on this page, you're also on that page. And it means you can have the book on the bits that you need to look up, like your tactical and your, your strategic points and so forth. You have the units out in front of you. I like it. I like it. I, I like, like it, it a lot. A lot. Right, so the big thing that's missing from this, from the normal one, is all the terrain, which is usually what keeps that price point very high. You do get a token gesture. You do get... I think it's more than a token gesture, but it is nothing like... This is the scenery. It is Ace Brew. These are new pieces. To, they look like new pieces to me mm -hmm. that fit in with the existing Sector Mechanica scenery. Kill Zone Salvation, didn't you know? But yes... It's all sort of machinery component pieces yeah. that will flop around. So, so if you've got any existing Sector Mechanica scenery, or even if you haven't, these are just fine for little battlefield bits. Now, normally, I'm not a huge fan of scatter scenery because it usually doesn't do much in the game. It may make the board look pretty, but often in like a club game when you've got two hours to play... And you're just spending half an hour setting up the little knickknacks. Yeah, and then and so putting on terrain doesn't actually have any function in game. Now, in Kill Team... 
these bits are all big enough to hide at least one dude comfortably behind. True fact. So if you're going to have scatter scenery in a kill team game, I think that it should do that. <laughs> and this, and it's Minimum. often just not tall enough. Is yeah, the problem with a lot of scatter like a scenery? Yeah. Whereas this is going to, these pieces are tall enough that they're going to provide a line of sight block for certain parts of the board. No, I'm not saying this is enough to play a kill team with, but it is at least performs the right function, which is that it's going to cut off certain angles of fire. And it's going to mix up, if you've got the scenery set to go with it, it's just a bit more flavour with it. I like it. And it's got moving parts. It doesn't have moving parts, it guys. Moving it's, parts. Got bits that you, it's got bits that you glue on, but um, yeah. So I'm surprisingly easy to build. Yeah. Yeah, it builds you like two or three pieces, doesn't it? I think we've got it actually shows sections. you them on the back. Reciprocating engine. In fact, it's five. Five lumps. You're not going to be able to see that, but it builds but you five lumps. Hopefully there'll be a picture. Scenery. Yeah, man. That's cool. It's better than nothing, right? Right. Now, by anybody else's standard, 68 quid, that's a lot of money. That's a dollar. That is a lot of money. For Games Workshop... Cheap as chips. <laughs> I wouldn't say cheap as chips, but the, the models, the infantry alone probably cost that. Yeah, 60 quid. So if you're interested in these two kits, and I think, be brutally honest, if you're an Eldar player, you almost certainly want the, the new Striking Scorpions. Yeah, right. Almost everybody's got a Space Marine Force of some description, so 10 of the Scouts is not wasted on... If you don't have a Space Marine Force, that's fine, but you definitely have a very close friend who does, if you play Warhammer. Um, which is why I never mind there being Space Marines in all the sets. Because yeah. everybody's got some. Everybody's they're, got they're some. They're never wasted. Or you, yeah, as you yeah. say, you know somebody that does. This I'm happy with. Surprised that this was more than just the striking scorpions in the rules mm. uh, you know that they that they're allowing you to do that mix and match thing yeah and it is within flavor because you can't you didn't let you use any elder you can't use the corsairs or something and they were definitely a kill team they were an early one for this edition yes it was just an aspect oh, warrior yeah, thing. yeah they were yeah that's good that they was uh, an aspect warrior thing themed and, and then, of course they've got the scenarios in there happy dice it's not a start set though no there's not the core rules here. Even if they're free online, you're still really in a start set. You want them printed. Um, but they do look like fairly simple models to use, actually. Maybe when you get into the weeds, it's not. Mate. That was our look at this. <laughs> what do you want? What do I want? Which bit do you want? Oh, none of it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> none of it. Not, it's just going under the bed in the pile of shit. Yeah, that's where it's going. But if I had to choose, I, to choose, I, I would got... love to play with the scorpions. Yeah? Yeah, because the they're cool. Well, I'm definitely happy to have a look at the scouts. Are you going to see a game and, with, with us with these? Don't I'm not going to make any promises. Um, just because of the time investment in building and painting the models with all the things we want to do. But thing. the scouts are definitely going into my pile of shame. Nice. And the striking scorpions are going into yours. <laughs> all right, folks. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.
I think that was alright. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Uh, this is our lands. There was no tray. There was, yeah. Oh, there was. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> Shall I put this back? Are you alright turning the camera off? Yeah, I'm gonna do. La da da da. Do you want them? You don't? No, no, no. 